In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a timeline with JS and Google Drive. And this would be a very effective um, tool in terms of when you wanted to talk about something that has significant historical um, uh, information. Um, you can embed Google, live Google Maps, you can embed videos from YouTube or Vimeo, and also Twitter. Uh, your tweeters so um, so I'm going to be showing you how you can actually do this you can uh, you can also embed audio files but the audio files would only play once you upload it on the server it's not going to play on your desktop so um, the first thing that you want to do so I'm going to walk you through this process and again you can come up with very interesting uh, results um, for whatever topic that you, you're interested in. It can be maybe your professional background even, or, um, or um, any, any topic that you, you're particularly interested in or passionate about. So, so again, this is a very effective way of kind of creating this dynamic um, interface. And we can embed this interface into our pages, web pages as well, which I'll walk you through. So you, the first thing we want to do, basically, you want to make sure you have a Google, you you have an account with Google Drive, so um, and you have, you have access to that account. So um, and I've already basically, you know, you can create make a timeline, and it would uh, ask you to get a spreadsheet template from the actual Google Drive, and this is the, the template. And um, let me just make this smaller. And you want to say use this template. And here you're going to want to change the name to whatever you're working on. So I actually have created one based on Apple website. And you know, you can Google like a timeline for whatever topic you want to use, and then just uh, just plug in the information in there. So I'm going to actually go back for so that we, for the, since the time is limited and I don't want to make the video very long, I'm just going to launch the Apple uh, it's a spreadsheet that I have to create it. So the process is pretty straightforward. Um, so obviously you want to have the, you know, if I want to just Google history timeline so you kind of want to just have this information already somewhere so then it's much easier to copy and paste the information in so you can just for example 1976 uh, this thing happened and 1977 that thing happened so you want to have something like that already on a Microsoft document or whatever available to you so the parts that are really important that you want to make sure you pay attention to is <clears throat> these uh, uh, numbers, the, basically the letters, the capital letters, and these titles. You want to make sure not to delete them. However, you can delete uh, if you're using, uh, let's say, let me just open up another. You can, you know, if you click on inside any of these fields you can go ahead and either highlight all of them and delete them just again these the labels you want to make sure you don't delete and the capital cases and these letters you want to make sure you don't delete so again that's what i've done and you know i basically copied and pasted the information like 1976 that was the year um let me just grab that file again so i can show you so it was you know 1976 that and uh, that was the title and this is the content area so basically you want to put in the um, title in here and you could put the headline which could be jobs and walls found apple for example that would go inside the top, top uh, title or headline and then, then the textual information would be whatever this part is can go right next to it, like in this field. And each section is separated by lighter gray and darker gray value. 
Then as I move to the right, you can see under media, for example, if I go to, um, let's say, go to YouTube. If I just do after computer, uh, or, or I, I'll just pretend this is the one. But let's say whatever computer you want to, whatever video you want to choose, if you click it, oh, then you can copy this link, or you can come and use this link. Either one would work. So basically, you would copy this, come back over here, and under media, you would paste it. So you double click it, and you simply would paste that video. And under the media credit, so this one, for example, was uh, face, um, YouTube. So I'm going to YouTube video. So you want to just sort of put, put in the information uh, in there. So let me just go to and um, you can also embed pictures. So, um, you know, if you want to put the, the caption, actually doesn't go there. So you can put, um, if you had a thumbnail, you can put it in that area. But basically, I mean, this is how easy it is to, um, to embed the information that you're borrowing uh, from online resources into these fields. So if I come back down here, you see that I have I have uh, the media. You could have photographs, and it's much easier. Let's say if I want to do a photograph, uh, it supports these online resources a lot better. So you can put something on Flickr or point something on Flickr and just pointed to the uh, put the link right here so if I go to Flickr if I go to and I'm just going to do Apple computer or Steve Jobs and I'll just do Steve Jobs. and just do a search and let's say I just Grab this photo, and you can simply click this button here. The picture is a little small, but that's so you can just copy this link over here, and maybe, maybe in this area. Well, actually, under the media, maybe over here, I'll just paste that in. So now, let's say you've you've completed your fields. And I'm going to um, we're going to actually go file and publish to web. And you want to make sure the entire document is published. And you're going to close that up. And so I'm going to get out of this page too. And we're going to go back to. Um, Going to go back to um, uh, timeline JSP, and at the bottom here, so that's the first thing you do that we, we publish the, 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 the link, and then we're going to paste that link. So let's just go back here. We're going to publish the link, and we're going to paste that link into. Um, we're going to go and then just basically copy this link, come back here, paste it inside, and and just now I have this copy. I can copy this. I can click preview, and now this is my video, and I can simply navigate uh, through. The different plates and like I said the audio would work just fine except that um, and that's the picture I just added 
except that uh, you have to be online. So now the way you add this item to your page, and if you save this, it's basically going to save it into your Google Doc. I'm going to go back here, and I'm just going to go to Awards. And maybe that didn't work about being on the page. Maybe I'll do About. And I'll simply click on this link and paste the code that I brought into that area. I preview the page and now 